Oh, it's cold out here, guys. Oh, this is California weather sucks. But today's video, check it out. Boom, we're putting some uh, surveillance footage, you can call it, on the toy hauler. Um, I, I bought these cameras, I'm gonna show you which ones. And I'm gonna mount, I mounted them right now. I tested them last desert trip, they're pretty amazing. Now that I know I like them, uh, they work good. Uh, they're wireless, I'm gonna show you guys right here. Let's, let's go out, let's go to the other garage and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna install these and the uh, picture quality and everything uh, on these uh, bad boys and explain to you what these are for right here and why we gotta have them. All right, we gotta get rid of this boat. Anybody want a boat? Come buy this damn thing. So, like I said, boys, let me show you where the surveillance cameras go. I gotta come on this side. Now, you would think, you know, I thought for sure when I built this garage I had plenty of room to do a lot of stuff. This is ridiculous. I think I need like a minimum of 10,000 square feet. Okay, I gotta get up there, so, just stand by. So we're on the roof of the Ding Ding over here. Here's one area where the camera goes right here. Oh, just to show you guys, look at, look how close we got. So two, three inches, maybe. It's it's pretty it's pretty dang, dang close. You can see it's it taller. You got plenty of room right there. But so now this camera is gonna go onto here. So this looks this. So we got one here. We got one over there. We got another one in the back, and we're putting another one facing the opposite side. So we're pretty much gonna have it 360 view of the entire, you know, surveillance area, you'd call it. Um, but the issue is, so these are wireless. You could charge these things. There's, there's my man right there helping out. So you charge these things. Here, just throw them up here, Josh. <clears throat> Hold on guys, let me, I gotta catch this shit one second. Hold on. <clears throat> Go ahead, where are you? I don't see you. Yeah. What up, JB? Go ahead, where, did you grab the rag? Where is it? In the stacker. Yeah. <clears throat> What's going on? How's it going? Good, how you doing? Getting some Oreos. I can hear it. Yeah? <laughs> can you see it? I can't see it, I can hear it though. Wow, look at that. Looks good, dude. <clears throat> So guys, like I was saying, the, the issue is they're wireless. So they, they do and they don't need power. So, oh, thank you. So um, when you charge this, now I went all weekend out in the desert on just the battery on this thing. And the batteries aren't like a, you know, couple hours ordeal. It literally went all weekend. It was still at like 70%. So there's plenty of battery for the weekend. The issue is I don't want to keep coming up here and taking these things off to charge them, you know, every week. Now, what I'm going to do is you can get these. I'll put the link down in the description for you guys. They're little five watt solar panels. And this is pretty much just going to sit just like this with this USB plugged right into here. That way I don't need to worry about charging it. And if it's, I understand you guys are saying, well, dude, it's in a garage. You're not going to get no sun. You're right. But when it dies, and I pull it out, I usually pull the trailer out like the night before uh, or the day before, clean it, get everything ready, uh, you know, wash it up. So I'll leave this in the sun, let it charge. Now this might not work, who knows, but they're so cheap anyways, we're gonna try it so I don't have to deal with taking these off and plugging these, you know, taking them in the garage and plugging them in. We're gonna go solar route and then uh, go from there. Okay, so I've just set the panel down just like this. It's nice and tight. It's on just by 3M double-sided tape. You know me, I, I love my double-sided tape, guys. That's how the actual Starlink is, double-sided tape and the suction cup. So there's double-sided tape underneath it, suction cups that's been on there. Shit, I don't know, three, four trips, drive with it. It's good. I mean, it's awesome. So now that that's there, we're going to head down to the back side. It's over there, and we're going to install all the other panels over there. Okay, I can't even remember where I left off because it's been so many days. I've been trying to take it out, but it keeps raining and raining, and this weather is just horrible so we finally though um and finished installing these cameras and i gotta say it's been about a month i want to do a good test used them out in the desert used them here i've used them actually a couple trips maybe a little over a month and these things are awesome for if you guys want some sort of security uh system on your you know toy hauler motorhome enclosed whatever it is i'm gonna go up there and show you how i finally um, pretty much finished the install, but show you how it's consistently getting power and it's working and how long it's lasting. So let's uh, well, head up these stairs. Look at these little guys. These guys kick butt. 
and I screwed them in also put a bunch of that like this goop stuff in it right here I'll show you the other ones on this side and I even put them on the starlink too. see all the goop here but this thing I mean man even you see these suction things aren't even like suction right here but I don't even mess with them anymore because it is so tight I mean this thing doesn't come loose and they say well it's gonna pull the membrane off well I tested it and nothing I mean look you don't have to worry about it I pretty much don't even deal with pumping these anymore I just put all this stuff even put double-sided tape I mean it's it's strong guys so I don't know I've never had any issues with it okay so check it out here's the other one right here same thing I just loaded it you know with all this stuff put screws in here little solar panel I'm gonna put a link for all of these down in the description this thing has audio a light alarms I mean everything on it. it's crazy and even in the garage these things were, were still charging being in the shade and not being you know out here in the Sun so I mean I gotta say these for the money you know the bang for your buck these things work awesome if you want you could use it as a you know reverse camera up there so I got a reverse camera there and a reverse camera there makes it pretty awesome I'm gonna show you guys a new reverse camera that I put on the stacker though over there so now I don't know if you guys can see that so right there the light the bottom thing will bam will come on you'll see it at night when I walk as soon as and it's you can set it so the way I have it set if there's no motion remember these are recording also but if there's motion this thing is going to the lights gonna boom kick on right away as soon as it picks up motion uh, you can put on here 24 hour color or you could put a uh, black and white night vision I personally don't like that black and white night vision never never works never looks good I mean even all the surveillance cameras I have here at my house they're 24 hour color audio everything that whole black and white BS is is not that great so that's why you know I like these um, and also the awesome part is they're wireless so we're like the surveillance I got you need cat 5 cable this is not really you know you don't really need cat5 for her, a toy hauler you will be fine with just doing wireless like this and if you want to view them wireless you do have to have some sort of internet for me I use a Starlink you can use your hotspot um, you know whatever you want to view these things wirelessly okay so uh, I'm gonna show you here real quick on the app right here that's the app so boom hit it and you can see here see how it's still charging I don't know if you guys can see see the little charge logo right there see it showing it's charging right there charging it's on Wi-Fi because it's connected to the Starlink but I'll show you you know how clear everything is here so we'll hit boom hit that right there there you go and they've got a really good wide view on there I don't know if you guys can you guys see that right there look at that so that's obviously this camera that one right there and then you can go to this one right here whoa 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 oh wait which one was it that one right there which that's the gonna be this one right up here up top there you can see old forky right there so I mean I'm really happy with these guys these cameras are awesome there's the back there's the side or driver side I mean I really like these things they, they've worked great for me they're extremely clear so you can even also like say you get a motion or something and you can pretty much take like a, a screenshot of it or take a you know record it and save it to you, your actual phone to send it to whoever you'd like to send it to but it's sort of like for me a peace of mind too if like you know when you go to the desert you leave the sand car leave you know my kids car out here you leave your toys out here uh you can see believe it or not really clear what's going on and who takes your shit um are you gonna find the guy probably not but you know you can watch him steal your stuff i guess I, you know i i don't know <laughs> <laughs> probably not a good idea you probably don't want to see it but who knows you know um, at least if somebody knows the person or you put it on the internet you know social media is very strong today so um, you know you can put it on the internet it just gives you some sort of peace of mind I personally like it I've always uh, wanted to add it on here it just took me months to actually figure out what's a good brand and I don't want to deal with taking them on and off and on and off to charge them 
because I wanted wirelessly. So to me, I like it. It's awesome, guys. And like I said, I tried to do the install, but it was very difficult, very, very loud. When it rains in that steel building, it gets so loud in there. It's like if it's raining out here and you go in that building and it sounds like it's a hundred times like raining harder, but it's not, it's just hitting metal. And it's and when it like starts hailing, oh, you can't even hear yourself think in that place is so loud. So I couldn't really do a good install video for you guys, uh, but I will do the links. It's worked awesome for me. I've had them, like I said, a month over a month and I like it. I'm very happy with it, guys. So now we gotta put old Ding Ding uh, back in the garage. And for you guys asking me if I'm selling her, I think so. I haven't fully decided yet, but I, I, I think so. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna sell it. Um, you know, really upgrade wise, AC, the bigger one up top, you know, the matching two 15,000 BTUs instead of 13.5, hydraulic jacks, 600 amp hours, you know, the big boy batteries. You don't get my Starlink. Um, and you can have, you know, surveillance footage, the cameras, all that, and, you know, everything else. That's about it. But I don't know. I'm thinking about selling it, guys. Now, I've had a lot of you guys ask me, Eddie, how do you back all your stuff up in the garage, you know, with a forklift not being able to see since the mirrors are on that side? <clears throat> well, and no, I don't use a reverse camera because it's it doesn't really help. It's it's very hard to see. Still, with a reverse camera, you can't really tell. So I get out. I look like this. Get in. All forky like this. All right. Pull that emergency brake. And, well, we just go for a little bit. If we can, you know, we'll peek a little bit over here to the side. So I'm going to turn like this. Because I know i got to turn. There we go. We're going to kick it like that. I have no idea what's going on on the other side. That's, that's just how it is. I'm going to kick it sharp so I can straighten it out. And then I will go like that. I'm sort of doing it blind. So now what I do is I get it to about straight right there. Put that emergency brake on. I stop. I get my ass out. I look. Okay. Looks good. Come on over to this side. Looks good. And I pretty much go about five feet at a time, get out, and that's how I do it. So I'm going to do that, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. Looking good. I can kick it over this way a little more, too, now. I know, guys. It's much BS. If anybody has, like, a better idea or, I don't know, like, what, what would be nice if, like, they have those equipments where, like, oh, yeah, you can just drive and put it right under. Well, you still can't see with those. So it sucks, but this is, uh, this is what you got to do when... You know, nobody's here. So I'll stay tuned and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so from the looks of it, I think I'm pretty close. I'm gonna stop only because I kind of have like areas of what I look at. I know it's kind of jacked up, but all right. So I'm a little too close because I like to be able to walk. Uh, look at that. So I've <laughs> I barely caught it. So I'm going to uh, pull forward just a little bit. And I like to pull forward any, anyways on triple axles. Um, you know, when you start turning them, they start getting all cockeyed. So I'm gonna unhook and get this uh, forklift perfectly straight. And then um, I'm gonna pull it straight forward and we're gonna be good to go. Still got room on this side. Oh yeah, we're good. Well, there you have it guys. We're in, takes a while, but uh, you know, see, there you go. Gave me, keep myself a little room just to, you know, walk and get through, but she's all clean now. All detailed up. Look at her. Woo! Jacks are down. Oh yeah, baby. Bam! And if you guys ask why I put the jacks down, well, dang, I should have showed you. So there's just a lot of weight on these tires. And it's one thing I really wish I can put some jacks on, on this thing too. And I like to just to prevent flat spots. I like to it's it's already level in here, but I like to lift some of the weight off of the tires so they're just not sitting there now it's not obviously it's not off the ground you know you can't spin it but if you can see you know when it's on the floor it bulges good so i lift 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 until the bulge is not so big just so it's not sitting you know smashing on the tire but other than that that's it boys she's in she's good she's all clean i will uh do like a final uh wipe down on her in here um it's just it's hard to do a wipe down out in the sun uh, just because it all it does we try to do windows and everything and it just leaves a lot of streaks and smears and you think it looks good but then you pull it out and it really doesn't look like shit so uh, we do the final wipe down in here uh, same thing goes you know with the, the stacker everything gets washed and then comes in here for its final wipe down yeah